Everton have used the ball quite well in this second half. Much more patient approach, it seems. Can they find a goal at the end? Movement, and there's not as much space for Manchester United in the game because of the way that Southampton have set up and gone about it in this second half. Thanks, the boy, he wins it there. He's away. And for the win after the 18s and first team earlier this weekend. It's a nice little touch from Debarra. I actually think Maybe we should get more corners out of it. You might not score yeah. flying off an ankle. Yeah, you get more more from it. He's had a word with him about that. But he's he's getting, getting the ball all away a little bit too cheaply at times. A challenge coming in from Fletcher. <laughs> With him, actually, Dion Conway, who was just heading it there, the two of them were regular partners through the various age groups. Twice the frame of the goal has been struck. Chelsea have certainly come closest to scoring. De Bayo, who got that whack very early on, has not come out for the second half. And Ollie Cook is in his place. Right side. Paul Hedham. He is six foot five, Paolo Gasanica. So there is more of him than some of the goalkeepers perhaps to get past. And Southampton players back and a challenge there by Fosu Mensah on Hesketh, which brings a free kick for Southampton. The bio. Just to get away from Varela, puts in a tantalising ball as well. Seager back for Sims. De Bayo and Romero makes it stick. Dead well They're taking on De Bayo, who's just a bit stronger. He only has Ryan Seager to play with here. Here is Savin. Everyone in red is back for this, aware of the threat posed by Southampton's big men. And it comes, oh, and it was an acrobatic overhead that was... I think Paolo needs to go down here, but De Bejo's driving forward anyway, finds Isgrove. What can Saints do here? Here's Lloyd. So everyone back for United here. It's a testing corner, Mugabe was in there, and rattles the woodwork. Herrera to Yanisai, and back again, Reed though, quickly on to him, and I wonder if that's something that Southampton have earmarked tonight, to say, right, your job is to keep him quiet. Bit annoyed with the close attention from those in red. And it comes, it's a, an interesting corner, which I think caught Southampton. Seager to chase. Oh, Manchester United take on Wolfsburg on Ultra HD and BT Europe HD live from 7:30 in a Manchester versus Germany doubleheader. Chelsea need any sort tonight. It's the Saints down to 10 at the moment. That's a poor ball though from Garcia. Although De Bayo will have to clear that one. Challenge. To pull it by the Bayer. Darting run here by Jake Hesker. I think it was a clever one too. This
Joe Keane. And his eye out off the bio. Only Seeger forward. Will Keane will chase this. He's onside. So's Yanazai. But uh, good work from Josh so DeBay. Before South Hampton's corner kick. As Willock finds Varela. When you look at it, Dave, as you said, in your stats, United's in the middle of a great run and South Hampton's in the middle of a be a mini triumph for him if he can keep a second half clean sheet I suppose nice it uh, has been a entertaining game ready you're gonna end the game with a corner <laughs> Can't blame the referee there. I think he sort of turned expecting it to be passed wide. City down the other end and De Beo does well just to Saints keep in their shape. De Beo gets up to win that one and Harry Reid with player sales in the last few years from youth graduates. Going to do some defending here. The Saints. Third youth cup in him. Here's Solanke, so's he. Oh, and a great chance here, Casey Palmer following up. Signed up player over both both games, actually. Um, we're trying to get him around the back. We haven't had a chance to see his pace at all yet. First one out on loan, he was a real, real player and still doing a job in the Premier League now. What career he's had. Palmer's run, Abraham with a cross. Chelsea have a corner. From him, he does look impressive when he has the opportunity. Dubaio will clear it, it was intended. United give themselves the comfort of a two-goal cushion. Certainly ease the nerves a little bit. Just slightly behind. Now it's Phil Jones. And quite an effective first half, didn't he, as he returns from an ankle injury. Phil Jones went close to score. But, yeah, that was a shot. Thought that was number 36 right there, and then... Let's hope it's not costly. Might have another chance here. with City though, the Bayo's in well though, tries to find Isgrove, 